What's up guys, Boris here, and today I'm coming to you guys with a guide for the 40 stamina black pin. I'm going to be using a cool team here, a double Mihawk team, that takes advantage of level 1 anti-silence, uh, which is going to be really good against Blackbeard when he does uh, silence either your captain or your both of your captain. You'll be able to get rid of that right away, continue attacking. And so this is going to be a slasher team that's going to have Brook for some healing, Thatch for some blue orb manipulation, and we're going to have Koza as someone who's going to be able to boost our team for one turn, give us a good amount of burst for all our slashers. We're going to have Marco. Now the trick to this is having Marco and Koza on the bottom uh, because Blackbeard will uh, seal or chain uh, one of your bottom characters for 25 turns. And so this way, uh, if you get Marco sealed, you have Koza for the uh, burst. And if you seal Koza, you have Marco for the heal. So you should be fine either way. I've gone through this dungeon using both, uh, getting both men uh, chained. So uh, the thing to note here is that this is the one room that you want to sort of uh, stall on, make sure you have uh, Mihawk special ready for the boss, uh, try to get Marco special as, as close to getting ready as you can. Um, if you need to stall more, then go ahead and stall more, um, because the thing is, Mark, my Marco is pretty low uh, cooldown, I believe it's a one away from max, but if yours is, uh, you know, doesn't have too many skill ups, then you can actually stall more and then heal back up by the time you get to Blackbeard. Now this room is really tricky without, uh, you know, someone who can do uh, fixed damage. So, uh, you know, I just t try to take out uh, the corresponding guys, but here I, I messed up, I left the blue guy alive. And this means that next turn I'm going to take a ton of damage from the purple guy. But again, none of that matters uh, if you... Well, it does matter, but it helps, but it doesn't really uh, matter too much. If, if he does uh, hit you and your Marco doesn't get silenced, or doesn't get chained uh, in, in the boss room, then you're able to heal back up the fool, and you have a ton of more uh, turns to attack. If your Marco gets uh, chained, then you have Koza, who's going to be able to be not only a blue slasher to do more damage, but it's also going to be able to burst uh, down Blackbeard. So here we go, Blackbeard, and in this run, he actually chained my Marco, which is, you know, the, it makes it pretty much hard mode. If, if he doesn't chain Marco, it's easy mode. But so we're in hard mode now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and use Mihawk to throw a friend captain who has a max uh, skill Mihawk, and that's even better. And almost guaranteed a win. And so. Uh, what the plan here is, is as long as he is above 50%, he'll deal about 6,000 damage. As long as he's above 20%, he'll deal about 6,000 damage, but he will silence your captain. But again, that doesn't really matter in my case. The trick here is to get him right above 20% and then burst him down because at around 20%, he'll start doing 8,888. And so uh, I, my team right now can't handle that damage. So I'm going to be just using my HP as best as I can, using Brook to heal back up a, a bit and then take uh, just a couple of his normal attacks. And once I'm ready, I'm going to be able to burst him down. Now, that's going to be cool because he's going to give me a, a, a couple of orbs on Brook and on uh, Koza. Now, maybe I used that turn early here. I think I did. I uh, should have waited one more turn to do it. Uh, but be careful, guys. If he does get to the 20% mark uh, and uses, does his special attack, I believe it does negate any kind of buffs. So it gets rid of the... Of the um... oh, I think I actually just got rid of it right there. So... Uh, yeah, I guess I, I guess it doesn't matter, but yeah, uh, use Thatch and you have a one turn window to try to get some blue orbs uh, for your team, and uh, then that's it, that's it. Now I burst him down once you get him at right above 20% so that you don't die. So again, this is a cool team, uh, double Mihawk team that takes advantage of uh, level 1 anti-gloom. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys, let me know down below if you have any more questions, and until next time, thanks for watching.